The graph shows the velocity time graph of a particle during the first 12 seconds of its motion. Find the velocity, acceleration and speed at the following times and determine whether the speed is increasing, constant or decreasing. A, 2 seconds, B, 6 seconds, C, 10 seconds and D, 12 seconds. OK, when T is 2, so we find T is 2 here, drop on our graph and we realise that the velocity will be 3 metres per second. Normally we write velocity like this. It's just the answer from the graph. Now the acceleration at this particular point here, we find by finding the gradient of this line here. So the gradient will be, this is 6, this is 4, 6 divided by 4. So A will be 6 divided by 4, which will give me 1.5 metres per second squared. Get the uh, correct units. Now the speed is just the magnitude of the velocity. So um, the magnitude of 3 will be 3 itself. So the speed at this point is here. Now because the velocity and the acceleration are both positive, then the at this particular point the speed is increasing. Okay, so when t is equal to 6, which is this point here, Okay, the velocity will be equal to 6. Now we can see we have a horizontal straight line here, so we know the gradient is equal to 0. So A is 0 metres per second, i.e. is no acceleration at this particular point. The speed will be the absolute value of V, which is going to be 6 metres per second. And therefore, as the velocity is positive and A is equal to 0, i.e. is no acceleration, the speed is constant. The speed is neither increasing or decreasing in this part of the graph, which includes our particular value of t. Now, when t is equal to 10 seconds, so that's there, if we read up on the graph, that will give me 2 metres per second for the um, velocity. The acceleration is the gradient of this line here. So to find the gradient here, we need to draw this in. So this is 3, this is minus 6. Uh, minus 6, so it's this vertical distance divided by this distance, minus 6 divided by 3, i.e. change in velocity divided by the change in time, will be minus 3 metres per second. The speed will be the absolute value of 2, which is going to be equal to 2 metres per second. The now the speed here the, the speed here is actually decreasing because we've got a positive velocity and negative acceleration, so they act against each other. So that as V is positive and A is negative, different signs, therefore the speed is decreasing. Now the inc interesting case comes when T is equal to twelve, which is this point here. We here we have a negative uh, velocity, so minus 2 metres per second, read from the graph. The gradient is the same as this gradient line, which we just calculated previously to be minus 2. So the acceleration will be minus 2 metres per second, same as before. The speed is going to be the absolute value of minus 2, so that will be just 2 metres per second. Remember, speed is a scalar quantity, so it's always going to be positive. Now, because both of these have the same sign, i.e. both negative, so as V and A have the same sign, i.e. negative, the speed is increasing. So it seems strange, but that's, that's actually what happens. Now, this particular point here is of interest because this is where the particle goes from having positive velocity to negative velocity. And therefore, at this particular point here, the particle changes, reverses direction. OK, all of this will be beautifully uh, uh, illustrated in this app, which the link I will attach in the notes of this video. So I've got this app here. So we've got the particle at this particular point here. OK, if we start the uh, animation, you can see it will tell you what's happening at each point any one time. OK, and you can stop it wherever you want. So here it's constant speed. OK, here 
the speed is decreasing, it gets to this point here, it changes direction, and then the speed is increasing. So there's a little change of direction there. So you can play around with this and you can uh, you can move it with this as well if you want to. Okay, I hope this, this is a video to show you how to determine speed from a velocity time graph. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching. Please uh, subscribe to my channel.